Baobab trees are made to last. This tree has been here on the Mahafali Plateau for 3,000 years. It's one of the driest corners of the island. A baobab tree can go three years without water. Humans, of course, cannot. The parts of the plateau where water is to be found tend to be the most densely populated. Everyone gets their water from this well, and these days it's not nearly enough to go round. By the afternoon, the well is empty. People are worried. There's always been bad years, they explain, years when it didn't rain much, but never one after the other. If things carry on like this, they don't know what they'll do. It's barely rained here at all since 2009. There were a few cyclones that brought a little rain, but 2009 was dry and so was 2010. It's a complete disaster for the people. If there's no rain, there's no harvest. And that means there's not enough to eat. Southern Madagascar has been hard hit by climate change. Nusra Nalesulofo from the Worldwide Fund for Nature is doing what she can to help locals adjust to the consequences. Here in Siandriona Nord, it's over 40 degrees in the shade. The WWF has been working in this village for three years. It helped establish a water committee. Locals pay a small fee, and the committee is responsible for maintaining the only water resource in the village. Tsiafan Tatsé is committee president. He's proud of what his village has achieved in the last few years. Our children can drink clean water now, we have more to eat, and most importantly, everyone is disciplined in the way they use the water pump. In Siandrona, only one person at a time may use the water pump. That's one of the rules laid out by the water committee. Anyone who breaks the rules has to pay a penalty. There's no more water available than there ever was, but locals are more careful about the way they use their limited resources. Further innovations include the introduction of the pluviometer. Locals have started recording rainfall with this simple rain gauge used to gather and measure the amount of liquid precipitation over a set period of time. There's a bird here that always starts singing more than usual the day before rain comes. But these days it sings even when the rain doesn't come. So this rain gauge doesn't help us forecast rain, but at least it helps us record changes in rainfall patterns. When locals compared amounts of rainfall from village to village, they soon established that there's more rainfall in areas with forests. They've realized that protecting the forests needs to become a priority. Madagascar has a unique biodiversity, like this gecko. And this tortoise, with plant and animal life that exists nowhere else on Earth. In the afternoon, when the heat has subsided a little, the women in Siandriona water the vegetables. They've planted tomatoes and carrots next to the well. Crops that don't need rain, such as cassava and corn, grow out on the fields. The women say their menfolk like the vegetables they've been growing. It's a miracle, because when we proposed planting carrots, they all insisted it would never work. It's the desert here, they said, it's far too hot. 
But as we can see, these are lovely carrots. The locals have learned how to use their water resources sustainably. In the past, there was no active water management here. Now locals are very proactive in their use of water resources. Other villages are seeing similarly positive developments. Tianzhuan is by no means the only village with a water committee and a vegetable patch. There's more to the Mahafali Plateau than meets the eye. Nusra Nalasulafo shows us an underground river that never dries up, however dry it is above ground. It hasn't ever been properly mapped, but once it is, it will be a significant resource. It could be very significant for the locals here. Once we know where exactly these underground rivers run, then locals will finally have enough water. But for the time being, there are no funds available for research. These lemurs don't exist anywhere else in the world. They share ancestral traits with early primates and evolved millions of years ago. Habitat destruction and hunting mean many species of lemur are facing extinction. Preserving Madagascar's ecosystems is an urgent priority and not just for humans.